Hello. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how I organize image files on my hard drive and in Adobe Lightroom. We'll start off with File Explorer view of my hard drives. We'll go over to the E drive where I have a directory called Photographs. Those photographs are stored by subject name and year in subdirectories. And then in each subdirectory, I have another directory called Stock Photos. And those will be images that I've extracted from the originals and then copied over to a subdirectory so I'll know what I've submitted. In this case, I'm looking at Bighorn Sheep Photos from 2014. These are all raw files. And then in the Stock Photo directory, I have JPEG images. These are full resolution images. You can see all the subjects are covered by their own subdirectories and organized by year. By organizing my files this way on the hard drive, I've found that it makes it much easier to organize catalogs in Lightroom. We'll go to Lightroom next and I'll show you how I do things. So here we have my Bighorn 2014 files and if you look at Lightroom you can see that they're stored on the E drive Bighorn 2014 directory and then there's a subdirectory stock photos and I've just imported that directory into Lightroom using the import function one thing I do is I mark my photos that I'm using for stock um, with color codes and essentially if you look over here you'll see okay here I have a blue color and then there's a purple color the purple color denotes a photo that's been exported as a stock photo and submitted to the stock agencies and I mark all of those with purple and then I go back and also identify the original file and this is marked in blue and as you can see they're the same files. Only one's a JPEG and the other's a RAW file. So now what I'm going to do is create a sample Lightroom catalog and import new photos into that catalog and then I'll show you how I do uh, stock photo selection and how I manage those files in that new catalog. So what we'll do is we'll start out, we'll go up here to File, select New Catalog, and I, I have a directory where I keep all of my uh, Lightroom catalogs. It's on my C drive. And we'll just call that Sample Catalog. So Lightroom is creating that catalog in my Lightroom catalog directory on my C drive. Now the first thing I normally do when I create a new catalog is I edit the properties for that catalog. So I'll go up to Edit, Catalog Settings, and then uh, I always click this box, Automatically Write Changes to XMP. What that does is when I enter keywords into any image file, it'll save them. I don't use address lookup, so I deselect those. On file handling, I use a standard size preview that gives me a full resolution image on the screen. I use a high quality, and then I tell it uh, never discard those. I've got a lot of hard drive space, so... I don't like to discard the previews. It saves a lot of time later when you go back and look at files that have previously previously been uh, imported. And then uh, you can set your backup preferences. I don't use backup anymore, so I tell it never. Just click OK, and now I'm ready. 
Then the next thing I do is I do an identity plate setup. And we'll just call this oops, sample catalog. And uh, that's a big font, so I scroll, I usually bring that down to about a 28 point font. And that'll be what shows up up here. So when you have your catalog loaded, it'll show you the name of the catalog you're working on. Now I've already created a uh, directory with some sample images in it. So I'm going to import those images into the catalog. And we'll start just by clicking the import button. And that sample catalog is over here called test images. And I've just loaded up a few of those bighorn shots from 2014. And on the right, it'll ask you where do you want to put those photos. I'm not going to move them anywhere. I'm going to add them to the catalog. This is assuming I've already imported those photos off my camera chip into a directory of my making. So I tell it add, and it'll leave those photos in that image. And you can also see I created a stock photo image. Uh, catalog, which there's nothing in there at the moment. So I'll tell it, put it in the test images catalog. And I got build one-to-one -one previews. I have developed settings that I've uh, pre-configured, user preset. I just use a default import. And I'll show you how to take care of that all in another tutorial. And then I want to apply uh, metadata which is a pre-selected set of keywords and descriptions, which I can go in and edit later. So when it imports these images, it'll put all the keywords in a, in a roughly correct description of each image in there. So then once I've got those, I've got all the mark uh, check boxes checked, and I just tell it to do import. So Lightroom has now imported those. Now, as you can see, some of these files were already uh, selected up for stock images. And uh, the metadata stores that value in the raw file. If you recall, when we set that catalog up, we set it up to write the changes to the XMP files. So here I've imported the uh, image files, uh, my sample catalog, uh, three of these big orange sheet photos from 2014. So let's create a stock photo and do an export. So I look at the image files and I can scroll through them. And I've decided, well, I like this one. So uh, I'm going to create a stock photo out of this image. So what I'll do is um, I'll come up here and I'll select that photo, make it purple. And then uh, I have an export preset that I've created. And you can set up all these export presets in Lightroom. And I have full resolution stock photo here. And it exports this image as a JPEG file uh, to the C drive in a directory called Stock Photos to Upload. And it's set up as a 100% full resolution file. I do a standard sharpening on the file for JPEG export. No watermarks, uh, no watermarks, uh, nothing else post-processing. And then uh, I export that. Uh, that file actually already exists in there, so I'm going to overwrite that file. Usually when you do a export, there's nothing there, but I was setting this up for the tutorial. So now we'll go look at that directory, and if you look on my C drive, uh, I have a directory called Stock Photos to Upload, and that's where that file was written to. And that's a JPEG file, 8.54 megabytes. There's the details. It's got all my keywords and subject matter written in that was uh, written to the file when I uh, brought it in. It tells the exposure stuff, and you can look at all that. 
So then uh, what I want to do is I want to put a copy of this back into the Lightroom catalog, uh, into that stock photos directory. But I'll leave this copy sitting here because actually, you know, I'll do several files and I'll drop them into this stock photos to upload directory. Then I use an FTP program to do a batch upload of those. So we'll go back to Lightroom. And then um, I'll come over here. There's the original file. And then I've got the stock photo subdirectory here. I'm just going to import into that, import into this folder. And it's going to give me the import dialog. And I tell it what I want to import. I want to import this image that I just wrote to the C drive on the stock photos to upload directory. Uh, I'm going to copy it. I'm not going to move it because I don't want I want this file to stay on the original location. So it'll just bring a copy in, and it'll bring it in over here on the right. You see photographs, test images, stock photos. You set your directories up here, and then I do an import. So remember, I was writing the XMP file uh, from the catalog settings when I told it. Um, to color that image with a purple um, it maintained that in the uh, XMP file so when it imported it it saw that definition in there and it brought it in so now I've got the original image which is a DNG file digital negative it's actually a raw file and then here's the stock image I want to take the original raw file and convert that to blue so that I'll know blue means that's the original raw file and that's in the test images directory. And then the JPEG file, that's actually the stock photo, is sitting down here in the stock photos directory. So there you have it.